Hey everyone, I'm Caleb. Welcome to The Daily Devo. Today we're continuing our series on questions that God asked in the Old Testament and how these questions are for you and me right here today. Today's verse is found in 1 Kings and it's right on the heels of this amazing story in 1 Kings chapter 18 where God uses a man named Elijah to defeat 850 false prophets. It's an incredible passage that displays the supernatural work of God. It's worth reading. And then after this amazing thing happens, the pagan king and his wife Jezebel send a message to Elijah saying, hey, we're coming after you for killing all those false prophets and we're gonna take your life. And then starting in verse three of 1 Kings chapter 19, we read this. Elijah was afraid and fled for his life. He went to Beersheba, a town in Judah, and he left his servant there. Then he went on alone into the wilderness, traveling all day. He sat down under a solitary broom tree and prayed that he might die. I have had enough, Lord, he said. Take my life, for I am no better than my ancestors who have already died. And it goes on to talk about how an angel visited Elijah and gave him bread and water to drink. And the meal gave him enough strength to travel 40 days and 40 nights to Mount Sinai. That's some good bread right there. And there at Mount Sinai, the Lord speaks to Elijah in our verse of the day. And he asks him a question in verse 9. He says, what are you doing here, Elijah? Elijah replied, I have zealously served the Lord God Almighty. But the people of Israel have broken their covenant with you, Lord. They've torn down your altars and killed every one of your prophets. I am the only one left, and now they are trying to kill me too. Go out and stand before me on the mountain, the Lord told him. And as Elijah stood there, the Lord passed by, and a mighty windstorm hit the mountain. It was such a terrible blast that the rocks were torn loose, but the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, there was a fire but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, there was the sound of a gentle whisper. When Elijah heard it, he wrapped his face in his cloak and went out and stood at the entrance of the cave. And the voice said again, what are you doing here, Elijah? And again, Elijah gives basically the same answer. Well, they've killed all your followers, Lord. Everyone has turned away except me and now I'm running for my life. And by the way, I was obeying you when all of this started, right? Friends, we can be so much like Elijah, focusing on our circumstances more than on our Savior. That's when things get sideways. We've seen his hand at work, we've experienced his goodness, his faithfulness, and then something negative happens or we mess up, we blow it, and we think we need to run and hide. Maybe today God is asking you, what are you doing here? There were things that I gave you, things I put on your heart, things I called you to, and yet here you are over here. You think you blew it and it's too late, but it's not. I'm still here, I'm with you. Will you trust me? Will you listen for that gentle, small whisper? Will you follow me back to where you need to be? If that's what God is stirring in your heart, would you take a minute right now? In fact, we'll just end this Devo about a minute earlier than normal. Would you talk to the Lord right now? Ask him what's on his heart for you. Ask him to reveal himself, to remind you of what he said and to lead you to where he would have you go today. God bless you.